Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mythical and today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy trick to get nice low end thump on your kick drum that may be a little bit lacking in the low end, maybe feeling a little bit lifeless and flat. With a couple of clicks, we're gonna solve that problem. But if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. If you wanna stay up to date with more Logic Pro 10 tips and tricks, please consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date. Otherwise, let's get going. Okay, so right before recording this video today, I was working on this little track and I wanted to play around with the stock drum kit plugin that comes with Logic and I have to say I'm really blown away with the level of quality that they have in these samples, but the problem I was running into for this track was the kick feeling a little bit lifeless in the low end side of things. And this is where I wanted to do the tutorial on blending in some sub bass to the kick. So let's just go ahead and take a listen to the track and we'll get some context and then we'll go right from there. Okay, so yeah, the kick to me sounds a little bit flat on the low end side of things. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new auxiliary channel strip. And on this auxiliary channel strip, I'm going to add a test oscillator and that can be found under utility and we'll do stereo and we'll make sure we stay on the sine wave and for the kick sub, we'll, we're just gonna drop it down to 50 or 60 hertz. I'm just gonna do 50. And as you can see on the channel strip, there's a continuous signal being generated through it. Um, we're going to add a noise gate to eliminate that. And we're gonna make sure we side chain the noise gate to our kick. So every time the kick hits, it opens up the gate ever so slightly, allowing that little 50 hertz frequency to pass through and that's what we're going to blend um, that sub bass into the kick with. So um, let's go ahead and just make this thing unity volume and we'll rename it kick sub. And I'm going to also create a track off of that. And all of my drums are part of a main track stack. So I'm just going to make sure that it's part of that by putting it in bus one. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and give this a listen and you're gonna hear immediately the sub, but we're gonna, we're gonna start blending it. Okay. Increasing the threshold. So that is with the sub. Now the sub is off. Sub is on. Okay, now let's listen to that in context with the entire track. And then I'm just going to turn on and off the sub and I just want you to listen to the difference. Here we go. So the sub is on. just listen to the drums soloed out as the track stack and uh, hear it play through that. Sub is on.
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Very, very easy. Uh, it's a cool trick to give your kick a little bit of body and low end thump if you feel like it's lacking. Uh, I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like. And if you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Otherwise, I will see you next time.